Hi guys, it's Ran Zebra here, and I am playing Argo Online. And I'm going to take a couple of minutes now to show you what this game has to offer. Um, I've watched one of um, MMO's Hut, MMO Hut's videos on this, and I thought I would just show you the other side. Considering he went, I um, can't even remember what they call them, but these guys are the other opposite, the more greenies, hippies, and all that crap. Um, one other reason I wanted to stress is um, with the character creations I noticed that when I picked this character which is a druid it was um, gender locked so I could only be a chick yeah yeah say what you want but I could only be a chick when I wanted to make a druid but anyway I'll just start off this quest here and you talk to these guys and I'll just finish this there's a lot of reading and I like also that to stress as well is that the because it's a Korean Asian game, they did do a lot of effort into um, the translation of English into English. So anyway, I just yeah, what should I do? Nod. Um, mental strengths. Everyone wants mental strengths. No, just me. Anyway, we got this dude down here chatting here, so I'll just skip him. I don't want to talk to him. And we got a little arrow th track that's gonna take us to where we need to go. So what do we got in the inventory? We got a plane hammer. So put that on. Put that on. And we'll put this down here somewhere. So it, it what I straight off the mark I think of when I'm looking at this game is Perfect World for some reason. I'm not saying it is exactly like it, but it just has some sort of... I don't know. It just seems... So very similar to it. So the, the heads up display, the UI and all that looks... It looks pretty good. Like, very stylish, very sci-fi-ish. Because this is what this game's supposed to be, to be all about. Is kind of a sci-fi kind of aspect. But more so, I'm gonna say steampunk, which, uh, yeah, also gives it a good vibe about it, I guess. So here we go, killing these beasts, wild plane cannons. So we'll just kill these down. So we can kill them. Gotta go kill two more. So we'll go kill this one. Um, what else? This, there's a lot of interesting features about this game. I don't have much knowledge about particular Ala Play who made this game, but they seem to have made a couple of good MMOs. And well, this one here looks pretty stylish and pretty up to date. Since this is just open, just came out of open beta, um, I recommend that you get in and give it a go. Uh, here we go. We've accomplished our mission, and he's telling us to head back. Yes, I don't need to talk to you. So I guess I gotta follow that big golden arrow that's over my head. And what's this up here? So this here is I guess is all your stats and doobalackies, achievements, daily record, adventure. Yeah, cool. So anyway, we'll follow this big golden arrow floating above my head because I guess it's important. And as you can see, the world is quite large. There's very it's very pretty too, like the amount of artwork that went into designing this. You got the big planet in the background there. So it's pretty cool in that sense. So here we are, we must be at the first kind of uh, headquarters or stop point in the game. And this is where we must get all our first low level quest and start questing away. So I just grab our first quest with this person. Hello, nod. Smile softly. Okay, so we just go and I guess we gotta pick a reward, no? No. See I just noticed there there was a little bit of interesting English to translation problems there. But um other than that it's alright. It's not major. Okay. Yes sir. And here we go, we got ourselves a little in-game cinematic. 
The suns will go down between the two hills under the six twin trees. And I guess this is telling us where we have to go. So that's telling us where to go. You received a bucket and oars. As a reward, please press I. So we'll press I. And what do we got here? A warrior defense bucket. So click that. Something like it's on my back now. Looks like I got some sort of strange growth growing off my back. But apparently this is important. It's a backpack. And that's interesting because I've never really seen a game that um puts a backpack on. This is charge over 300 ores. So... This guy here, if you right click the ore item then you'll see a fully charged ore gauge. So I guess that's that thing there. I guess so. It helps your attack and can be found on the left side of your mini-map. Be sure to keep all levels charged and prevent this. Okay, so what's this? Difficult by clicking functions please to... So this thing down here by looks of things. So you can increase your strength or armor or dash. So at the beginning we only got ourselves armor. Here we go, it looks like we got our talent tree specking at level 2. Right out loud, that's pretty soon. So we got ourselves a basic tree set up. We go, but well, it looks like level 30, no, 50 is the cap on this game. So we'll go and put our point into. What's this? Patience. Probably increases your physical and natural defense by 2. Yeah, we'll go that one. So we got that ability now. I guess. So it's not... It's not an actual ability. <laughs> so it's actually a passive ability. I should read things a little bit often. Anyway, so I don't know what that does, but I think I need to use it all the time now. Um, so we're gonna go follow this route. Route, route, whatever. I thought I had other quests. I'm not sure. I guess not. How do you bring up quests? See, I'm quite reasonably new to this game, so I don't even know what I'm doing. But I think it's TPS, quick menu. Whoa, so it's H. So... And like that, that was pretty sleek in the sense that that I interface kind of switched all this listed here. It's quite easily accessible from everything. Quest, inventory, status information, messages, all that kind of junk. You even can play around with the music. See, everything that I see here is reminding me of a bit of like Perfect World. I can't say that it is because Perfect World is a completely different game. But anyway, I think I need to... So I think I've done that. I'm not sure. The guy, this arrow keeps point, pointing to me to go somewhere else, but I just don't feel like I should be going that way. I feel like I've got to turn in other quests. But anyway, I'll follow this route anyway. See where it goes. So, anyway, this is pretty much all there is to this game, and I will probably continue playing this game to give you a little bit more footage towards higher levels so I can give you a bit more idea and probably even help myself to understand the game a bit better. So, there's another little camp over here. I don't think I'll go there. I'll just follow this route right along. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. It was a pretty quick video, I'm not sure, in the sense I can't even see how long I've been recording for, but um, there's another guy over there, he's running over there. But um, thanks for watching, um, like, subscribe to this video, and I will be putting out more videos of this one to show you, like I said, higher levels, and what to experience at higher levels. 
no worries, and thanks for watching.